my name is Garrett Lipton. Uh, I live in Cape Town and we are at uh, the University of Cape Town where I've started my first year as an undergrad. I'm studying uh, labor, organizational psychology and human resource management. But I like to just kind of shorten that into to people vibes. <laughs> Friends First is uh, what I believe is a Pentecostal church and the fact that we believe that the Holy Spirit is, is present um, in each of us as believers and also manifests himself during services and during um, meeting of believers. So it's a lot more lively. Worship is a, is a, is a personal encounter where we, um, we connect with God and we, we worship Him. I mean, we, we often, like, I'll just speak back to, to God what He is to me. My name is Candice, I'm 21 years old, I attend the University of the Western Cape. I'm currently doing my fourth year in Human Resource Management. I was led to the Anglican Church when I moved from, from my mother to my aunt. Um, they, they attend different churches and I think I preferred the Anglican Church. I do spend a lot of time praying other than when I'm in church and it's usually um, at night or any, time other, any other time when I'm by myself and I feel at ease. If I'm alone at home, maybe in the afternoon, I would just calm down and say a plea. Being Anglican has, has taught me a lot. I assume in South Africa, you see the, the African history channel and all these um, like primitive black like, zoos on your doorsteps and all sorts of things like that. And you get the impression of South Africa being a place where you ride elephants to school and you have lions in your, in your streets, whereas it's not like that. I've lived in Pinelands pretty much all my life. I mean, this community is great. It's it's safe. Like you can walk outside at night, walk your dogs by yourself. Uh, there's crime, obviously, but um, I, I haven't been worried about crime once living here. In the community that I live in, which is Woodstock, we have different kinds of people living here. We have um, Muslim people, we've got Christian people, we've got um, quite a, f uh, a few white people, the scarlet, uh, majority of scarlets and blacks. Um, economically, it's people that are below the breed line and above. My name is Joe Scaffers, um, born in Bloomer Flats in District 6 in 1939. And we had Anglicans, Catholics, Hindus, Muslims, Jews, Amy, Methodist, Arabian, Lutheran, in fact, the whole shooting range of religions. But the one thread that went through the whole of District 6 was a thread of respect for each other as people. On the 11th of February 1966, this multi-denominational, multicultural area known as District 6 was declared a white area. That meant that all people of color, myself included, had to get out. The majority of the uh, Churches refuse to practice their apartheid policies. Um, people somewhere or other, they became brainwashed because it was psychological engineering that was done. You uh, take that the Dutch Reformed churches, absolutely there was no whites um, sitting with blacks that were definitely out of the course. But the Anglican and the Catholic churches and the New Apostolic churches, they couldn't care a hoot. It's really sad to see um on such a wide scale for, for something like apartheid to happen uh, and in the name of God. Yes, they, they labeled themselves as, as Christian and they said it was for God, but I question that relationship. When you're in a relationship with God, you don't have those, t those desires to, to see others oppressed. You have God puts in you a desire to see everyone in equality, living in love with Him. Well, what we're trying to do is to reimagine the city again. Where it as the city of Cape Town became an all-white city, we're trying to bring colour back into the city. For me, being South African would be um, basically moving from apartheid, which we, we come from, to being free, being having um, freedom of speech, being democracy. 
um, having our races interact the way they do. South Africa shows such a heart of wanting to be a better country, wanting to, as individuals, better themselves, um, get to uh, like a higher state of, of really appreciating each other. To be a Cape Tonian to me is to be one that's open-hearted, that tries to make everybody feel at home, that tries to add values to people's lives. And I firmly believe that this can all be brought about if each person, person respects the other, because respect goes a large way and it doesn't make any difference what denomination you are, what your color of your skin is, or where you come from. The thing is, if you respect each other, you will get respect in return.